Mr. Freeman, you say the defendant has taken you down the paternity court road once before, and now you are here denying you fathered Braden, her one-and-a-half-year-old son. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Garrett, you claim that you were only with Mr. Freeman during the window of conception and have no doubts that the DNA will prove that he is the father of your youngest son. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Additionally, you are countersuing for $501.13 for a birthday party you claim Mr. Freeman failed to pay for. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Let me start with you, Mr. Freeman. You say you're not sure... You're Braden's father, right? Yes, Your Honor. Explain. I've been down this paternity road once, and... How have you been down the road once? Because we have another child together, and when we went and took, a, took the DNA test, it was another guy there with us that took a DNA test. Did you know he was coming? No, I did not. No, I did not. Your Honor. Oh, so all along with the first child, she told you you were the only possible father, and then when you show up to the DNA test, there's another guy there? Yes, Your Honor. No, Your Honor, that's not true. What what happened, Ms. Garrett? Well, after I found out I was pregnant with my first child and I told Mr. Freeman, I also told him that there was a possibility there was another person that could be the father. So, mm. afterwards, he stayed with me. We were in a relationship up until, you know, my pregnancy. He was there at the hospital. And after uh, Bryson, the oldest one, after he was born, we had... went and had a DNA test just to be sure. So, when that happens, child turned out to be Mr. Freeman's or not? It's his. It turned out to be mine. Do you admit that there was doubt at first for the first child? No, I admit that I was sleeping with someone else. I always knew that he was... Okay, well, me, he and I weren't in a committed relationship. We never, ever... Only time out of however long we've been dealing with each other, eight years, seven years, only time we ever been in a relationship is during her pregnancies, the two pregnancies, and I was there righteously only for my kids. How can he say that he was there for them, whether there was doubt or not? Anytime. And even after the paternity test proved that Bryson was his, he has not been active in Bryson's Man, life. Man, yes, I have. Anytime, Anytime or he not... leaves me, he leaves his kids, and that's what not you right. Mean? I mean, if he leaves me, he doesn't call, he doesn't send money, he does, he barely comes by see, to that's see what them. It's about. It's, it's, she don't, you don't it's care not about, about man. Money. What you mean? Every time I ever came to come and I wasn't with you and I came to see the kids or anything it's about... It's not about if, money, if, but if, money if is also the important. If money I didn't have some money to give to her, that was all it was It was about. She don't I care never if I you be with the kids. I never yes, denied you. you I never denied you That's why I'm him. not with the kids now, Your because Honor. she done ran me away. She would sit around and paint a bad picture on me with... I don't have to paint a picture that you saw that you, you mean? paint. I mean, the, You're all the right, author I mean. to this picture. Let's, I don't have to paint a let's picture. Let's get back to the paternity issue. So, after all this doubt concerning your first child, it ended up being your biological child. Yes, ma'am. You stayed together. Yes, Your Honor. And you got pregnant with your second child. What happens then? After Bryson was born, he got into another relationship, but he and I, as always, were sleeping together. And I got pregnant again. He decided to leave that relationship, get back with me. Why? For whatever reason, you got back with me and you were there throughout my pregnancy, through there at the hospital when I gave birth to Braden, and, and now Bryson. you... And Bryson. And Bryson. But now you deny him. I'm not denying... I mean... Two years later. Well, it's a good point, Mr. Was... Freeman. It's two years later. What you mean? We was not together. Like I said, we was not together at the time when Braden was born... And... And you weren't together when Brayden was conceived. No, we was not. No, ma'am. Because you were no. with somebody else. Yeah. And so that means you all weren't technically in a relationship. Exactly. So you believe she could have been sleeping with somebody else at that time. Yes, ma'am. All right. But, so... But... I'm sorry, Your Honor. He want to make it about me being about money. It's not about money to me, but it does take money to take care of kids. Does can... Mr. Freeman support his kids? No, ma'am. I don't support my kids at no, all. No, ma'am. What you mean? I don't... Because I don't give you money? Well, how? Well, how? You barely see them. Do you actually really think you can sit around, man, and tell me, oh, well, my, can... my family go do this to you, my family go do this to you, okay, or call your, your family this, that, and this, and then expect for me to just come around your family and, and, your and Honor, stuff like that? That's not happening. So, let me ask you this. Braden is 22 months old. Yes, ma'am. What kind of relationship does he have with Mr. Freeman? A somewhat of a relationship, somewhat but it's not... Somewhat of a relationship, but it's not... 
a Explain bond. Explain what it, somewhat means. Because in the two years he's been in and out of his life, if me and him are not together, he's not in my kid's life is what I'm trying to explain. I always try to explain to him, if you don't, if you can't even send me money, call your kids, make sure they're okay. Christmas is nothing. Birthdays, nothing. Absolutely nothing. No call, no happy birthday, no Merry Christmas. The last, this past Christmas, he didn't buy my kids absolutely the, nothing the Christmas for Christmas. Before that, the Christmas, the, no the very, Christmas. The very Christmas before that, I gave you my my, no my, my my debit card with my money on it. We're talking about four years, but he can only. That's the only thing he can tell you about is one time when he bought for this these kids in four years. They go to daycare every week. I have to buy clothes, shoes. They have to be fed. And he's talking about one time when he gave me a card. My kids have to be taken care of. And like I said, my kids, my family will help me. So all I ask of him is to be a part of their lives. They need him. Yes. There's two children involved here. One, we've determined the oldest. It's your biological child. Yes, Your Honor. But Braden, at 22 months old, still doesn't have that certainty. You say you have somewhat of a relationship. The word was somewhat. That's her word. That's well, no, no, I, no, no one wants him. somewhat I'm... of a father. That's th those her words. I feel like I've been his father. You know what I'm saying? To the best of my ability. I never had a father. I never even saw my father. I had a conversation with nobody who even said they was my father. And you've brought a paternity suit today because you just don't feel like you are Braden's biological father? I, or are you just unsure? I'm just unsure. I, I just need... I need to Explain know. your doubt. We wasn't together when he was conceived. We wasn't together... We, we just weren't together. She was sleeping with other people, just like I was. Were you at the hospital for the birth? Yes, I cut the umbilical cord. Yes, you I did. did. For the both of them. Did you Braden sign the both. birth certificate? From the nurse to the doctor, nobody ever said anything about a birth certificate showed me a birth certificate or even gave me an option to, si to sign a birth certificate. I probably, when they came in the room to sign the, room, the birth certificate, was he there, was though. never in the room. And that, I mean, okay, but that when... Just... If, if you want the father of your child to be on the birth certificate, then why not say, he, he... your father of the child isn't here yet, I'd like to execute this on this day or tell him, be here at this... This time we got to. Why would he leave? Why? why was his oh, so you trying to, to leave the hospital? He didn't have a reason to leave the hospital neither time. But Miss Garrett, you admitted earlier you weren't sure with your oldest child, and then when you conceived this child, you all weren't together. You weren't right. even in a committed relationship. That was the same thing with Bryce. So was he not in the room, or did you not let him sign it because you really deep he down wasn't didn't know? He was in the room. He was. There. I mean, even though we weren't together with Bryson. He was there during the pregnancy and there at the hospital, in the room, as I was delivering the baby. Same as Brayden. He was there. So it wasn't that, you know, it was uh, an uncertainty on my end, even though we weren't together when I conceived. He just wasn't in the room. I feel like he didn't want to be on a birth certificate anyway because neither one of them have his last name. Why don't they have my last name? Is it because I said I don't want neither one of my no, sons I to said have my I last name? No, I said I don't want my sons to have your last name exactly. because you That's don't all deserve I want it. You to tell the truth. He don't deserve it. And I don't want my kids to be the, an example that he's showing them. As well, why you keep having babies by him then? <laughs> Why weren't you even at Bray Brayden's first birthday party? Like, you were there at the house when we left with the things to go to the party, and I asked you, I said, Mr. Freeman, are you coming? And you said, yeah, and you didn't even show up. Was we... So everything was fine and dandy during them times, huh? You were sitting there. You, you were saying? sitting there as I was getting stuff prepared. Was I... Was I... Was and I, so, Ms. Garrett, that's man, the you... basis of your countersuit. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Garrett contends that you agreed to give... Braden, his first birthday party. I don't recall that. You don't recall agreeing to that. Do you recall an agreement, Ms. Garrett? We were in a relationship. And he knows how I am about birthday and birthday parties. We already planned, okay, his birthday is coming up. We're gonna have him this party. So you all planned a party? Yes, ma'am. Was he supposed to pay for the whole thing or was he just gonna contribute? Contribute. Okay, so he, want, he was gonna contribute to the party. Did you agree to contribute to the party, Mr. Freeman? I probably did. Okay. You did. Yeah. Now, did you contribute? I probably... I did probably what I could, but... Did he do something for Absolutely the party? nothing. I set up for the party. I cooked for that party and everything. Brayden's first birthday party, you weren't even there. Brayden, not Bryson's. You weren't even there. How did you cook anything? You didn't even come, and you were in the house right when we left out. Well, I'm, I'm leaving out with all these party favors, cake and everything. I'm leaving my... Our house... 
that we were living together in. And I'm like, are you going to come on? Because he had locked his keys in his car before we, when we were leaving. And he said, yes, when I, when I get somebody to unlock my car, I'll be on. We got to the party. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. He never showed up. I honestly don't even remember it. And I can yeah, see that I hurts you. My keys yes, ma'am. It hurts me for the sake of my kids, not me anymore. Because I, I know how to deal with him now. But my kids, they don't know. And they always like, Mom, what's my daddy? You know, what's my daddy? And I call him. And like I say, he always says, well, you know, I have this going on. I have that going on. Like, I need my kids to be a priority in your life just as they are mine. I have, I have things going on, too. Like, I have to take money, my car messes, you know, whatever. But my kids are my priority. Whatever happens, I still have to find a way to make a way for them. We're talking about four years. Four years, and, and you, you tell ain't talked about what? absolutely, absolutely nothing. You Real, tell me, all right, you understand? All right. Mr. Mr. Freeman, Ms. Garrett, let's get back to this birthday party because it is the reason why you're countersuing him. Yes, ma'am. For five hundred and one dollars and thirteen cent, you countersue. Do you have receipts for that birthday party? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to see them, please. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. So these receipts. Total the five hundred and one dollars and thirteen cent you're suing for. Is it your assertion that he told you that he would contribute along with you to throw this party for Braden? Yes, Your Honor. You got balloons, wall decals, everything for this birthday party for a one year old. Yes, ma'am. Totals five hundred one dollars and thirteen cents. Yes, ma'am. Did you get a verbal agreement from him that you and he would contribute together? We were... Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor, I did. We were together, and he knew, like I said, he knows how I am about their birthday. Did you have an oral agreement, or did you just figure he would contribute? No, ma'am. Your he Honor. said that he would help with Mr. the Mr. Freeman... Party. If I would've gave her... If I, if I would've just paid for the whole party and not went to the party, we wouldn't have no problems out of, out, out, of, out of that situation. But the point is, is did you pay for any of it? I, I don't but... know. I didn't. No, All you right. didn't. And did, did you... No. Pro- Hold on. Did you promise her or did you say and did. agree that you would help throw this party? Yeah. Well... All right. Well, in light of the testimony given and the receipts that have been presented, I do believe you spent $501.13 on that party. And I do believe you all made a verbal, oral contract to throw the party for Braden for his first birthday. Therefore, Mr. Freeman... You are responsible for half of that amount, and you owe that to her. For that reason, my judgment is for the defendant in the amount of $250.57, which is half of the amount that it took to throw that birthday party. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Now, let's get back to the paternity issue. Mr. Freeman, if Brayden turns out to be your biological son... Do you want to try to work on this? Because you all... Oh, I'm just glad you just told the truth. (laughs) I didn't even have to press you on it because, oh, I was about to say, if you all act like y'all don't want to be together in this courtroom and stand up here and lie... Ms. Garrett, if Brayden is Mr. Freeman's biological son, what are your hopes for today? Would you like to try to work on this and try to make this family work? No, Your Honor. She says no. And that's the truth. That's my truth. Like... The reason why, like he said, the reason why we can't be together because our relationship with him and I is just toxic, toxic at this point. I don't want that around my kids. All I want, if he's the dad, is for him to step up and be a father for his boys. Well... Financially, emotionally, physically. If he is not Brayden's biological father, then what? I want him to do... I want him to do for Bryce and, and... we we'll move... I'll move on and, you know, I'll find... I'll figure out something for Brayden, but I want him to do that for Bryson, at least, because he doesn't do it for neither one of my boys, so... When you said if not, it was real casual. I have no doubt, Your Honor. If not, but I have no doubt. All right. It's time for the results. Jerome. There you go. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Freeman versus Garrett, when it comes to 22-month-old Braden Garrett, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Freeman, you are 
the Father. I'd like to see my kids when I get a chance. You'd like to see them? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Garrett, are you okay with him seeing the boys and spending time with them? You said that's what you wanted. How do you feel in this moment? I'm hurt because for you to have doubt and then I don't no know how just be I feel, absent I and be to, absent, just, you know. You and you just, make me absent. Time. That's time. That's All right, time. we're not gonna do this again. We're not okay. gonna do this again. Mm -hmm. You got two children together, two boys. Mr. Freeman, these young boys are counting on you to show them how you treat a woman. Yes, yes. How you honor a woman. You need to show them that. Mr. Butterfield, you summon your ex-girlfriend, Ms. Bracknell, to paternity court to prove that you are the father of her two-month-old daughter, Cara. You say she's denying you are Cara's dad because she's worried her family will be torn apart when the results prove you are the father. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Bracknell, you say there's no way Mr. Butterfield is your child's father. The only reason why he's doing this is to break up the family you now have with your fiance, Mr. Dallas. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Butterfield, why do you believe Carr is your daughter? Um, me and uh, Mrs. Bracknell had a residence together for almost a year. Um, we did try to, you know, have a baby together before. Okay, so you lived together? Yes, we did. And you were in a relationship? Yes, Your Honor. She had told me when we were breaking up, she said, thank you for the gift. And I said, what gift was that? And it wasn't until later that you found out she was pregnant. That is correct. You're and right. then when you found that out, you thought to yourself, was that the gift? The baby? Yeah, you thought the... My daughter, yes. That's what you thought? Yes, sir. When she said, daughter. thank you for the gift, you said, oh, that's what she was talking about. Yes, Your Honor. She hid this for me eight months. Hid my daughter from me for eight months. And wasn't there for Sorry. her to be born. Calm down. Stop it. Yeah, he, some other guy got to cut, cut her umbilical cord. Yeah, that's fine. Make me out to be the jerk, whatever. Can I'm we here today. This now? You so did. I want to be or here. Something's... So, Ms. Bracknell, you were previously in a relationship with Mr. Butterfield. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I was. Then you went back in a relationship with Mr. Dallas. Mm hmm. Yes. And you have three other children together. Yes, we do. Now, when you left Mr. Butterfield and went back to Mr. Dallas, you were pregnant at that time? No. When did you find out you were pregnant? I, honestly, I didn't find out until three, I'd say three months after I did move out of his house because you were... I was having irregular periods, so I just let it go for a minute. I'm not really a doctor person. I'm not, I don't So you keep didn't go to the, the doctors doctor for how long? And so, the, so what you're saying is, when this relationship ended, you didn't know you were pregnant. No. But huh. once you found out you were I pregnant, wasn't how could you not? You're not having periods. We broke up. Do you not weren't do... pregnant at all. <laughs> no. So why are you convinced your fiance, Mr. Dallas, is the father? All the features of my other kids are in that little girl. Like what Say features? That. All Every your kids, all your boys have blonde hair. The cheeks, the nose, the ears. The cheeks, the nose. Look at her. So, Beautiful Mr. Day. Dallas, you say you are Kara's father. You believe yes, you're her right. biological father. Yes, Your Honor. He is. Why do you believe no, he's not. so? If I may, the evidence. Oh, yes. August. Let me see that evidence. August, her and Jesse split up. September, we was together. together. Moved we in. were. So, this calendar outlines yeah. August the dates. Mr. Butterfield split up. When the relationship with Mr. Butterfield so, and Ms. Bracknell ended, and when she came back to you. Yeah. So, in the middle of you say Carl was conceived in mid-September. Mm -hmm. And she was born in June. June. Yes, June 10th. And she ended the relationship with Mr. Butterfield at the end of August, am I correct? Yes. yes. So you're saying if we count back, there's no way Mr. Butterfield is Carl's biological father. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Butterfield, you look at this calendar. Mm -hmm. Is this accurate? Is this when the relationship ended and when... She went back to oh. Mr. Dallas? No, Your Honor, it's not. It's not? That's no. Cool. What, what do you remember? Oh, because honestly, we were sleeping together after that, all the way up until October 8th, the last time we had sex. Because I remember, Ooh. I can take October. a lie detector test if you want to prove it. So you Up in the mountains, I... up in the hills. You don't oh, remember yeah. that, right? You remember, right? Totally. I wasn't with, we weren't oh. together. Asking <laughs> me for money for gas so you can go see him. Yeah, I so asked you for money, huh? Yeah. So, Mr. Butterfield, you're saying that you were still having sex with Miss Bracknell till October. 
So yeah. although these dates may be true, they are missing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're I inadequate guess, yes, because October, there should be... She used to... She, sorry, I'm not meaning to interrupt. She used to work for a, a, an auto parts store, and she would call me and be like, hey, let's have a quickie, let's do this, and then she'd go back <laughs> on her little... Oh, pizza. really? So, no, that right there is all a lie. So you're saying I'm she was still sleeping a... with you in October? Yeah. I'd be willing to take a lie detector test. Would you? Yeah, I would, actually. Mm. Let's do it. Oh, I'm scared. You know, I think the paternity results in this case will give us all we need. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma um, so there is a lot at stake today because Ms. Bracknell and Mr. Dallas, you have a family. You have how many other children yeah. together? We have four kids, counting Cara. Four? No, you kids have three kids. Cara. No, including... she is done. No, so you shush. have three. Mm. I yeah, I got her. four kids. You know? <laughs> no, you have three. And Mr. Girl, Dallas, Cara, have, have you money. ever considered how you would react if, in fact, Kara is not your biological no. child? You know what, Shannon? I'm going to love her the same. She's my little daughter. She's going to be my little daughter. I'm going to raise her my life. She's not gonna raise her. daughter. She's I'll raise her. Nothing's going to be changed. Nothing's going to change. I'm, I love her to At death, all. just like I do now, before so, today. I'll love her the same. You know what? With this... He's actually made our family stronger than trying to push us apart what he's been trying to That's do. That's good. I'm not trying to get her back. I'm just trying to be in my daughter's life. Sure. No, you just have a... No. You... Yeah, you named her... Yeah, from what I hear, you named her after what? Your uh, grandma? And you, she's got your last name? That'll change very soon. No, it won't. Oh, no, it won't. Cara Christine Dallas is what it's going to stick with. No, it yeah. won't. Watch. Because I'm coming. Because it's my daughter. I mean, there's no... I'm all when she's want, my, she's mine. Do anything. I will no. be coming. Okay, we'll see. So, Mr. Dallas, you named Kara. You did. Yes, Your Honor. You were at her birth. Yes, Your Honor. I cut the bill and cord. Yeah, you could cut the bill and cord because I, I wasn't there. She hid it from me for. Oh, how long? you were there. You were stalking. Hey, us stalking out in the, you in the, in the parking lot. Yeah. The only Don't time even. that I actually ever found out um, that you guys were even pregnant is. Uh, what is this, Mr. Butterfield? This that's a Facebook is. post that they posted on um, that the baby was even. That's before I even knew. It and says this little the, girl is ready. Yep, that little girl is ready right there. And then I also, the only thing I got was a text message from like of a friend saying of her sister holding my daughter. And that's the, the only way you knew about this pregnancy. Otherwise, you knew nothing about it. No, there's no. She hid all of her pregnancies. She even hid the one from she, um, her no, youngest son Carson. She hid from him. No, he I wasn't didn't. even at her. Her youngest son. We were son. split up. You were We've split had, up. You we hid it from. Through, no, I did it. Hid it from you, right? I didn't know when she went into the hospital. Yeah, but you know what? We're over it. Isn't that hiding it from you? Done over with it. We've split through. We've so split what up. you're saying, Mr. Butterfield, is that this is a pattern. Yeah. She operates where she hides pregnancies. Oh, from yeah. People. She even, she'll no. even run to her exes. It's like a pattern. She'll run to him. She'll run to from another people, guy. That she, she, she cheated on me on my birthday. I did not cheat on you. She was gone with some, her ex on Making my birthday. Dramatic. And then come crawling back after that. She was yeah, gone with Mr. Point. Dallas or somebody else? Somebody else. There could be more than one person no. that she's been with. No. It's not true, Your Honor. Really? Really? Since Kara has been born... Have you tried to be in her life, Mr. Butterfield? I have, actually, I've messaged, when I found out about it, I messaged her mom, let him know I was coming. I blocked, obviously, on their That you were coming? You let's were, you let's were explain that text message. before you guys even got together. Five seconds after I yes. posted that, he texted my mom saying, I'm coming, I'm coming to get that girl. Oh, Just all, so, all threats. Well, if I want to be in my daughter's life, happened. why wouldn't okay, I Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that if she is your daughter, but we'll see. It, well, yes, we were. We'll see right we'll see. today, we won't will. we? That's why yeah. we're here. Let's get it done. So, Ms. Bracknell, you're convinced he's not the father. There is no way. Even though you don't dispute what the calendar says, you, you, you were with him and one month know. previous to when you were with Mr. Dallas. Yes. But it you... was close, yes, ma'am. When's the last time we supposedly slept together? Are you asking the questions here? I'm asking you, because it's from... Anyway, we were together at the end of the August, of August, and I'd say beginning... I'd say that. So the, I don't know the dates exactly. Are you asking the questions? Ms. Bracknell, what you're saying is once you were finished with the relationship with Mr. Butterfield, you didn't have sex with him again. No. Once you went <laughs> we back to Mr. Dallas, you were in the relationship with yes. him. 
situation. And that's it. And that's why you believe there's absolutely no possibility Mr. Butterfield could be Kara's yes, biological father. Yes. You also are submitting to the court today that you were not intimate with anyone else during that time, not the ex he's speaking about. It, and there was no one else. Nope. Just them two. Okay. I bet you fell a lie detector. And Mr. Dallas, <sighs> the truth is, is you're the only father Kara knows. She knows you as daddy. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> yes, Your Honor. That, yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's perfect. That's gonna be me very soon. Look at that. Uh, Look at him. <laughs> she looks more like me. Even her own family says it. Her own family even tells they me. They ain't family. <laughs> they look like me. She's got my nose, she's got my lips. We'll see. She's got my brown hair. We'll see. All her boys are blonde. All their boys are blonde. Yep, Doesn't and they've matter. gone brown the older they get. Exactly. So you are convinced, Mr. Butterfield, this is your dog? Oh, I'm 100% convinced. So you have no doubt, Mr. Butterfield? Ms. Bracknell, you say you have no doubt, and Mr. Dallas, you say you have absolutely no doubt. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. So you've not been allowed to see Cara or be in her life at all? No. There's no reason for it. There is every reason. No. Mm -hmm. And if, in fact, it's determined today that she is your biological child, what are your intentions? Uh, I don't want her back. That's... Uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, I want to be in my daughter's life. And, yes, the name will be changed. Mm -hmm. no. no. It ain't being touched. And I would like some sort of visitation. It doesn't matter, because she's not yours. I know 100%. Na and his it's name not, will be off the birth no... certificate, too. He was there through the whole pregnancy. Oh, because Every single time be, we got it. back together, because you know we did split up, we had our times. I had postpartum, it went rocky. Back and forth. Yes, I admit to that. But every single time, the reason why we have four kids is uh, not even a month after you have we would three get back kids together, and the reason why? I'd get knocked up. You're... I'd get pregnant. So there's no way. I've been with, I was with Jesse for a year, almost a year, and not once. Was I pregnant? Not once, but you know what I mean? I wasn't having problems. Just my periods, and that was regular for me. Do you think your relationship with Mr. Dallas can still flourish? Yes, Your Honor. She, he's, he's a different man today, honestly. Um, all of this has been making us a lot stronger. And I was afraid to tell him, honestly. I didn't know if it was going to get rocky from there or not. I was afraid that he was going to leave. But you back. You always try to. I thought you didn't want me back. I don't want you back. Okay. But you always what try to come back. What are you sitting here talking it's like about? A, oh, wait a minute, Mr. Butterfield. You said she'll be back. Yeah, she'll. She always. Why do you say that? She runs back to it's her exes all the time. She runs back to all of them. Like the last person she cheated on me with was an ex-boyfriend. She ran back to him. How many times? The only reason why she wants this baby, my daughter, to be his, she wanted the same baby dad. She'd want to have two different baby daddies. <laughs> No. And, but yet, we were trying to have a baby before. No, yet. we were not. So, Mr. Dallas, clearly from this calendar... Yeah. If Kara is Mr. Butterfield's child, then Ms. Bracknell was intimate with him either in September or October, as he stated, because of the timing of Kara's birth. You understand that, right? Yeah. So, therefore, if, in fact, Kara is not your biological child, will you be able to continue this relationship? Oh, yeah. You will? Yep. Okay. I think there's only one way to move forward, and that's to get the results. Jerome? Look at that baby. I'm going to go stand between them. To get home to her. Thank you. Me too. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Butterfield versus Bracknell, Dallas, pertaining to two-month-old Kara Dallas, and whether Mr. Dallas or Mr. Butterfield is the biological father, it has been determined by this court. Kara's biological father is Mr. Butterfield. That's fake. What did I tell you? It's fake. What did I tell you? It's fake. Sir. You ain't getting her. Oh, what? You're not getting her watch. It's all right. 
We'll take another one. True out. So you were correct, Mr. Butterfield. I just want to see her. <laughs> you ain't. How's it feel? Feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Be there. I will. Okay. Yeah. Now you got to look at me all the time when I come. I ain't got to look at you ever. Just sit right there. Everything. Stop. Listen. You're just the dad. Be we the say in this courtroom, plaintiffs lie, defendants lie, the DNA doesn't lie. Yeah, three times. It does not change the fact that this man, his hunch was right all along. He felt like this was his child. If I would have known, it would have been different. No, Honestly. It would have. It would have. I'm a Christian woman. I'm not like that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Laugh so all we, you want. So, no, no, no. Now, this man is over here in tears because he Thanks. missed everything that he so desperately wanted to be there for. He's not going to just let this die. He's going to go back to your home state and at least petition the court so that he can visit his child. Can you all do that on your own? We'll figure it out when we get there, I guess. Mr. Butterfield, is it your intention to be a part of this child's life? Yeah, I, I wouldn't be here today. Wow. No, you just didn't want to pay. I want to get out of here. I could have stood back and let him, like, I could have stood back and let him raise her and not done a thing Still about it. I'm going to. But I'm here trying to be a part of my daughter's life. Now that you know the truth, are you still maintaining your position that nothing will change and you still want to be in a relationship with Ms. Bracknell and be a part of Kara's life? Yes, Your Honor. Nothing's going to change. Mr. Taylor, you say that you had a whirlwind two-week romance with a defendant, and after it ended, she called to tell you that she was pregnant with your child. You say another man was at the hospital for the baby's birth, and therefore your DNA test will come back negative. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Orr, you say you are insulted that Mr. Taylor is even asking for a paternity test. You feel Mr. Taylor is just trying to dodge his responsibility, and you are confident you will prove he is your child's father. Is that yes, correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Taylor, you claim this is not the first time you've tried to get a DNA test from the defendant. Yes, Your Honor. Explain. Um, I have tried to get a DNA test from the moment I found out about Eric, and uh, she has denied it, dodged it every which way she can. Like, she's um, argued with me, said that he looks just like me. Why would I need DNA? Ms. Orr, are you trying to avoid the DNA test for Eric? No, Your Honor. I believe that Michael, if he wants a DNA test, he needs to get it done, not me. It's not my job. And he does... Eric does look like Mr. Taylor. She's lying, Your Honor. No, I'm not, Your Honor. All right, take me back. I want to understand how this relationship started. Well, Where we did you meet? started dating on, um... Offline. I met her offline. What's it, that mean? You're on, you're uh, on a dating, dating website? Dating, dating website. website. Okay, June and then 14th. you all decided to meet in person. Yes. Yes, ma'am, June 14th. Okay. And so you had sex with Mr. Taylor? Yes. Unprotected sex? Yes. After Aunt. meeting her on a dating site? Yes. And meeting for the first time? Yes. You all know you wrong. <laughs> Mr. Taylor, you said the relationship lasted two weeks? Yes, Your Honor. And how many times did you have sex within that two week span? I had, I had sex with her for like that week, and I had had sex with her a couple more times the next week. And then... He kept coming back. We done slept with each other maybe more than 10 times. <clears throat> no, Your Honor. 10 times that's in two... Then I, that's when I found out I was no, pregnant. No, Your Honor. Was Mr. Taylor the only man you were intimate with, Ms. Orr? There's other men, but at the time, Mr. Taylor was the only one that I slept with when I was off my birth control. No, Your Honor. During when I got pregnant around August, Your Honor. Okay. Take me to the moment where you realize you're pregnant. I realized when I was pregnant, when I went to my doctor's appointment, September the 1st... Okay. ...of 2016. And when you realize you're pregnant, do you tell Mr. Taylor? Do you call him? Are you yes, all still I call. even in contact? No, I, I call him. I contact him through Facebook to let him know I'm pregnant. No, she So, wait a minute. By the time you find... Let me know she was pregnant. She called me over the phone to tell me she was pregnant. Okay, then again... That's when Mr. Taylor called her for a DNA test. 
So did you say the baby is yours or could be yours? Could be yours. Mm. No. Could be. Uh, it no, is no, yours. No, Your Honor. She yes. has done nothing but sit here and tell me this is no. nothing but my no. child. I have been here. She is ran from the DNA. If it's such doubt and everything, if he is mine, why do you run from a DNA test? I do Mr. not know. Taylor also told me to take him to court. That's why we're here today. Because I'm the one taking him to court. I would never have doubted him if I did not have other possibilities. Well, Mr. Taylor, hold on, but I got to give her credit. Ms. Orr did show up today. And that's not an easy thing to do, because I'm going to ask the tough questions. And I'm going to demand answers. So, you just said two different things standing right here in this courtroom, Ms. Orr. You said, I told him it could be, then you said, I told him it is. Which one is it? It is. Mr. Taylor, do you remember the story going that way? Um, she told me it was mine, yes, but I did not agree to them terms, no, because I, myself, <laughs> knew of three other different possibilities. No, she there's been no with. other three possibilities. It's conception, not a contract. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome, he said he did not agree to those terms, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, at that moment, what you're saying is, is you did not believe that right, you were the right, only right, possible right. father. I didn't know anything. Did right. you believe, Mr. Taylor, you were one of the possible fathers? I did. When did you find out the baby was born? I found out the baby was born a week after. Oh, the a week after the baby here. was born. Right. So, wait a minute, Ms. Orr. Now, you are certain Mr. Taylor is your child's biological father. You go into labor and you don't even give him a call. You give him... Exactly. You, you reach out on another... Facebook to say, I'm pregnant with your baby. You don't reach out on Facebook to say, I'm having your baby right everything, now? Everything happened no. so fast. I no, have health Honor. problems. You didn't. My son was born six weeks early, and I was gonna wait till Eric got out the hospital. Okay, but still, no, it took a whole week. Yes. For you to get in contact with him. Yes, he's for lucky, you to tell he's lucky him... that I even told him because he wasn't there during the pregnancy or none of my doctor's appointments. Okay, so wait. I you're, wasn't there you're... because she had told me about the other possibilities that could be Eric's dad. Oh, what no. did she tell you about other possibilities, Mister no Taylor? Clue. Because I was told by the nurse there was another man in her room. That was a when friend she guy. Had this child. Really? He was a friend guy. Was this a, a friend. friend you've been intimate with in the past? No. So why is he up at the hospital? Because he supposed to be like the godfather of my son. How did you have time to notify the godfather and not the biological father? A family member contact my friend. You're accusing him of not being there and yet you are blocking him from being there at the most important moment. I don't understand. Because the nurses was talking to me at the time. I couldn't really talk to my family members. The nurses then were I... talking to you for a week straight? Telling me everything, pretty much. I don't know if she tests a fine oh. right now or test a line, but we'll see in a minute. Your Honor, I have What is that you're right holding here. up, Mr. Taylor? This is evidence from where I had first found out about Eric. Let me see that and evidence. Jerome, will you hand it to me, please? I was in the hospital with Eric when I first went to meet him. This one says, okay. little surprise for who didn't know, met my son Eric for the first time tonight. So blessed. Keep negativity to yourself. And this Your is Honor. you holding baby Eric. Your Honor. And then the next one you say, father like son with a heart. And you're holding the baby. Right, Your Honor. That was on her Facebook. And then the next one says, love my son. Yes, Your Honor. And then the I... next one says, first time me feeding him. So, Mr. Taylor, I will say this. The posts you put on Facebook, they looked like you do want to be a part of this child's life. If you are the biological father, you intend to be a part of baby Eric's life? I've been here since, like, since I found out about him. I was not raised up with my dad. I did not know of my dad until I was 14 years old. I don't think any child deserves to grow up without a dad. For the fact that she did not tell me until Eric was a week old, I am unbelievably shocked. I do not know why. I do not know why I deserve it. What I want to understand is, you're at the hospital, you take these beautiful photos, right. post them up. What happens at the hospital that would make you retract all of this? For the fact of she had made me had doubt that he was not mine. How did she asked. give you that doubt? Because she told me to take the pictures of her son Ooh. off Facebook. Your Honor, she's basically harassed me that this is nothing but my child. I have known from day one this is your child. She has messaged me constantly, this is your child. Why won't you answer the phone for your child? 
Yes, I And then you put the pictures up of your child and she tells you to take them down. Oh, so Miss Orr, wait a minute now. You are maintaining here in court that he is the biological father. Why would you tell him to take the pictures of your son down? Isn't it your son together? Because Mr. Taylor, he will still haul a DNA test. I'm sitting there going to the hospital every night with Eric. Staying there, feeding him, making sure he gets well and get out of the hospital. He's in a NICU six weeks early. And then Mr. Taylor sit here, his DNA. Oh, I love my son. That makes that's funny right there, cause you put that stuff on Facebook. You sit there take pictures with DNA my like with Eric because... on Facebook. You take pictures with him and then put him on Facebook talking about, oh, I love my son and all this. Which one is it? You want a DNA or do you want to be in Eric life? What is that you're holding up right there? It is a um, picture of a comparison that she had sent me of me. Let me see that, Jerome. And Eric, and another possibility of the other guy to Eric. That's you on the bottom right. That's baby right. Eric in the corners. Yes, Your Honor. And another man is on the top left? Yes, Your Honor. Why do you send him a collage of pictures with the baby and another man? To let him know. Eric does not look like another man. Where'd you pull this man out of, thin air? <laughs> no, Your Honor. That is one of my ex. Your Honor, okay. the reason why I've been so, asking for DNA. Okay. And this is someone Mr. Taylor was accusing you of having sex with as well, and he was saying that this could possibly be baby Eric's biological father? Yes. I mean, look, that picture was not gonna help the situation. Uh, it didn't. Uh, I'm sure it only fueled your doubt at that point. Your Honor, she has went as far as, like, saying the child had a crooked penis. <laughs> and I have a crooked penis. She asked me if I had one. I said yes. She said, so how can you deny that this is your son? <laughs> so she said... All I have to say is I hope nobody that. brought an exhibit. <laughs> Your Honor, my son could not get circumcised because he was over 90 degrees. Miss Orr, did you say that your baby has a crooked penis? And that was a point of proof. No, Your Honor, not a point She's of lying, proof. You're lying, Your Honor. To let him know that his son is going to be having surgery in August. Then why would she ask? Is that how you took it, Mr. Taylor? Why would she ask? Why would she ask? Well, I thought she would know. Right? <laughs> but I ain't one to gossip. <laughs> Did you think it was a way to avoid the DNA test again, I think is what I really want to know. Yes, yeah, sure. Is that what you're... Because you, you have maintained in this case she has avoided this test at every cost until now. Yes. Yeah, so sure. do you feel like that was the last-ditch effort to say... Now, look, you know the baby has this fi- physical characteristic, and do you? Yes, you do. Okay, now. That's what you're thinking? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Well, the court wanted to know, honestly, whether or not this physical characteristic is something that could be tied to genetics. So we'd like to call upon an expert right now. Jerome, can you please escort Dr. Eddie Richardson, Jr. into the courtroom, please? Thank you. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today. We are here discussing the paternity of uh, baby Eric. And his mother has indicated that the child was born with a certain characteristic, and it would be a crooked penis. Okay. She then asked the potential father if he possessed the same characteristic. The father indicated that he did. This led the court to ask, what is this? How does it happen? And is it linked to genetics? Okay. Okay. Well, there's actually two different conditions we're talking about here. Okay. One actually happens in babies and infants, and the other one happens in older adults. So the first one is cordase, which actually happens in infants, which is actually a structural and a developmental problem. The uh, pyridios disease actually occurs in adolescents and older men. That's from microtrauma. Both have a little bit of a genetic component, but it's sort of when they're developing, so it's a small component. So if the father and the son are both born with it, is it an indicator of paternity? 
Based on my medical opinion, it would be highly unlikely but possible because the one is more of a structural problem that's actually occurring and they haven't been able to conclude with any real evidence that both of these are going to cause this. But there are some, as I said, on the structural problem, the underlying uh, connective tissue problem, which would be a genetic problem. But based on just a curvature of a penis, it would be hard for me to determine uh, paternity from that. Not impossible, but not necessarily an indicator. Right. I Understood. would agree with that. Understood. Well, Ms. Orr, do you still stand by the fact that Mr. Taylor is your child's biological mm. father? Yes, Your Honor. No other possibilities? No, Your Honor. Mr. Taylor, do you still stand by your position that you believe you are not baby Eric's biological father? Yes, Your Honor. Nothing you've heard in this testimony today has changed your mind? No, Your Honor. I think we're ready for the results. Jerome? Yes. Go, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Taylor versus Orr, when it comes to six-week-old Eric Orr, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Taylor, you are not the father. Give me a Calm down, you. Mr. Taylor. I know this was disappointing. I could tell from the pictures you had formed a bond with the baby. I wish I never knew her. I don't see how, how that's... Just never... So even though possible. you had doubts, it is obvious you were coming here hoping to be wrong. Right. But you were right to have questions. Ms. Orr, do you have something you'd like to say? I'm sorry that I got your hopes up that Eric was yours. And I will say this, Ms. Orr, this courtroom exists because too often the mothers keep secrets about other possibilities that lead to this level of sadness, confusion, and real trauma. I mean, Mr. Taylor is very affected and I can see that. Do you know who Eric's <laughs> biological father is? No, Your Honor. Is there any chance it was your ex, the other guy in the picture? Possibly. Okay.